Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Furutech. This is a matrix OS which is running on my Nothing Phone 1. It's an Amazon custom ROM available for the lots of Android devices. You can find your device in the list given under video description. Currently, it's officially supported for the Nothing Phone 1. I flashed this ROM and I felt it's stunning in every aspect. So today I am going to show you some top amazing five features of Matrix OS. So without skipping any part, please watch this video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. Our device booted with the nice boot animation of Matrix OS. Let's check out the key feature of this ROM. The first one is the latest source base with the every new update. If you check the about device details of the Nothing Phone 1, this is the Android 14 base latest Matrix OS version 10.8.1 official build. Security patch is of latest September 2024. Kernel version is also latest 5.4.279 build date with the latest Clang tool chain. Build date of this ROM is of 21st September 2024. So basically, if your device is officially supported by this project, then you will surely get all the latest Google source updates with every new OT of this ROM. Second key feature of this ROM is a Matrix Home Launcher, which has lots of amazing features, but I will only show you some key features here. First one is the monochromic theme icon for the app drawer application. To use this, you need to enable the theme icon toggle along with the forced monochromic icon toggle. This theme looks amazing with the material you colors on the AMOLED display of Nothing Phone 1. Next feature is the shake to clear all the recent application is an easy way to dismiss all the recent apps from the memory without actually touching the clear all button. Next is the taskbar. This feature is available for the, all the custom ROM nowadays, but in the matrix OS it is redesigned, it's more fluent and faster as compared to the, any other custom ROM. Third key feature of Matrix OS is the Matrix setting. It's customization hub of the ROM where you will find the customizations for almost every part of your system. But I will discuss only few and the most important customizations of this ROM. First one is the lock screen clocks. Who gets the different lock screen clocks with the different lock screen fonts? Who can take a preview of all these without actually applying them on the lock screen? Next feature is the I.O. style depth wallpaper. Here we need to select any depth wallpaper you want to apply. Next select the depth wallpaper opacity. It should be at least more than 40 plus otherwise lock screen will looks black. Once applied all the settings will get such animated effect on the depth wallpaper of the lock screen. Next is the custom fingerprint icons and the animation. Here you can choose any pictures as a fingerprint icon or you can choose the custom presets of the icon available in the setting. Bunch of the fingerprint unlock animations are available here and they look amazing while unlocking the phone. Which can be visible on the off screen mode or with the on screen mode of the device. For QS panel who gets the header image edge which looks cool because if you choose the custom presets from the setting with every unlock header images get changes automatically. Next in the user interface setting, who gets the toggle called as the settings homepage widgets. If you toggle on this, the system UI will be get force closes and then the complete look of the setting homepage get changes here. It will look like this. On the top of the setting, who gets the wallpaper and style setting widgets with the user info. Next there will be battery and the storage widgets available. Similarly, we get the search bar and the system settings. These are something unique concepts of the settings panel widgets. Next under the miscellaneous setting, we get some different gaming oriented options like high developer status to run some specific gaming applications or the other applications which detects the developer setting. Game space is available here, but unfortunately game space is force closing in the nothing for one. Next we get the toggle for enabling the game props pooping toggle. You can also select the JSON file here to enable the game props spoofing. If you are a gamer then you will know how to use such tricks to play some hacks in the games. But as I am not the gamer, I did not able to show you anything detailed regarding this. Next, you can assign the different shortcut actions for the three finger swipe gestures. You can use the recent 
who can access the quest panel, who can lock the device by just swapping the three fingers on the screen. So these are some of the most amazing customization features made available by this ROM. The fourth important feature is the OTA support. As the ROM is officially supported for many devices who get the OTA updater in the system setting, so we will get the notifications of all the upcoming updates for this ROM. Fifth most important feature we got in this ROM is the Viper for Droid sound mod. It's made available by the default in the ROM, so we can tune the sound for our device as we wish and can enjoy the next level of sound announcement. These are some 5 most amazing key features of this gaming oriented custom ROM. If your device is officially supported by this ROM then you can install it right now and enjoy its beauty. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of upcoming review of such custom ROMs. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.